Hello and welcome to Guitar Gear Gyan with me, Sahil Jagtiani, where we talk about all things related to the Indian guitar gear scene. And in today's episode, we've got another box from the Dot Man, Toman, Toman, whatever you like to call it. It's come, it's here. But before we unbox this, make sure you click that subscribe button and ring that bell to stay up to date with all our latest videos. So you might remember from my last video, I said I probably will never order from Toman again because uh, the outer box was completely trashed. Uh, that was, I think, the second unboxing. And, um, you know, I don't know. I thought I'd never buy from them again and only buy the stuff from India. Unfortunately, COVID happened and a lot of stuff is unavailable here in India. And they released uh, a new guitar which I'm going to showcase to you all in a bit. And that gave me gas. I'm not talking about the stuff that you get rid of by having Kayam Churna. I'm talking about guitar acquisition syndrome. Just for you, I had to get it because it looks so good. I thought it would be amazing to review that guitar. Well, what is it? We'll get into that in a bit. First of all, uh, the box, as per usual, is in really bad condition. I'm not very hopeful that everything is in one piece. Um, I could see that there's tape everywhere, uh, you know, at the bottom of the box. Um, what tape? Uh, the Indian post office tape. So <laughs> they probably opened it up, looked through everything and uh, forgotten how to put it back, mostly. I don't know. It could be that. Maybe it's it just, you know, it arrived in bad condition and they had to do some kind of a stitch-up job with it. Whatever it is, um, as usual, Toman, please improve your outer boxes. Please, please. Please improve them. It's, there's a lot of expensive equipment that comes in these boxes. And you're just shooting yourself in the foot by putting, uh, you know, expensive equipment in such uh, shoddy packaging. Okay, on to the unboxing. I've got my cutter and let's cut this open and see what's inside. The box is open. Now let's take them out one at a time and show you what's inside. So just some padding. And that's my freeway switch, and uh, I, um, why is it loose? It's probably come out, it's, yeah, yeah, that's not good. And it's bent, as you can see over there. So this is probably going to be showcased to Toman. Um, this is the EMG3 pickup wiring. Um, yeah, this is the selector switch from that, and it's, it's broken. Hmm. That's not good. Not a good start. Okay. That's the dehumidifying gauge from Harley Benton. Looks interesting. It's in one condition at least. Some more padding. Even more padding. We've got the first instrument. Is it a guitar? Honey, I shrunk my guitar. What is it? Let's see, let's see. It's a mandolin. It's a Harley Benton mandolin with a pickup inside. Let's see what's in the box. That's it. I'll throw this box out. Okay. So, uh, it comes with uh, an instrument cable. Nice. Comes with an Allen wrench. Nice. Just gonna keep these two aside. Ooh, <laughs> looks so lovely, doesn't it? Look lovely, 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 jubbly, jubbly. Okay, let me inspect it. Seems to be in okay condition. Looks good. Uh, nothing's broken on the top. Finishing is not that great on the on the instrument. Not bad, but not great. The action is pretty high. Uh, I've never played a mandolin, I've always wanted to own one, so here's a mandolin from Harley Benton. Ooh, is it in tune? No, it's not in tune. But it seems to be okay. I'm going to do uh, a sound check with it a little bit later on, uh, at the end of this video, just to see if the pickup's working or not. Um, otherwise, yeah, it's not bad. It's in, it's in pretty uh, good shape. It's got here okay. Uh, action's very high. I'm going to sort that out. Um, yeah, I think the rest of it's pretty cool. 
Okay, so the next component, what's inside? Let me put my hand in inside the box. Ah, it's a snake, it's got me. Ah. This is something I want to talk to you all about. It's a KM stand. It's got this padding which basically prevents uh, nitrocellulose from reacting, uh, you know, with it. You can even fit uh, like a, an acoustic guitar or a, a electric guitar or a bass. It's, it's a very good stand and it protects it with this, uh, I think, non-colored uh, kind of a coating. Um, so it basically protects the, the finish of, uh, you know, your more expensive nitro guitars. Okay, so what else is in the box? Let me put my hand inside and see. Ooh, some string trees from Graftec. Yeah, they're pretty cool. They're black in color. Ah, this is the Big Rock Innovations uh, pin puller for acoustic guitars. Now, some of you will know that on acoustic guitars, those pins just don't feel like coming out. So this prevents you from damaging the guitar when you're trying to basically yank them out. What else is inside? Ooh. What is this? Axe Haven. Ooh, it's a, it's a miniature guitar. Let me see. I'm excited to see if it's still in one piece. So this is a display, uh, miniature guitar it's ooh, beautifully made huh very nice i'm not gonna open it completely right now i just want to spend some time on opening that check it out it's got the fender neck plate as well very nice you, you've got a cute little uh, guitar stand as well look at the detail on that amazing nice very nice harley benton steel fret stainless steel frets oh i love it I think I ordered two of these. I got one. Ah, an all parts 500k pot. These are pretty expensive in India. And uh, uh, these CTS pots are really good for your, uh, for your guitars. They're linear pots, these ones. Ah, Harley Benton humidifier doctor. There's nothing inside. Why is there nothing inside? Because it had come out. Packing, Toman, packing, packing. Minus points for packing badly. Harley Benton, stainless steel frets. One more portion. Now, some people are asking, why are you getting stainless steel frets from Harley Benton? Well, because they come, uh, you know, already cut nicely, bent nicely, so it fits, you know, uh, the radius of your fretboard well. You don't have to bend them, spend hours on bending them and then putting them on. I probably might experiment myself with uh, removing uh, frets from certain guitars and putting these on. I don't know, maybe I might not because it's, it's a risky proposition. You have to heat up the, the frets to remove them well. Uh, it's a long process. So anyway, we'll get into that later. Now this is an interesting one. This is a freeway, six-way switch for a Les Paul style guitar which basically allows you to access um, Different sounds like single coil sounds. You don't need a push pull pot. You can just use the, you know, the selector switch directly. And yeah, it's it's not broken. Thankfully, fingers crossed. It's come in one piece. But man, Toman, improve your overall packaging. It's not good. We've got these uh, rock board flat MIDI cables. I wanted these for my uh, Strymon uh, timeline and my Strymon uh, Big Sky. Uh, you know, basically, if you have the tap tempo set on uh, the uh, the timeline, then you can transmit that same tempo to your uh, Big Sky as well as your uh, Mobius. I don't have a Mobius, but I'm going to get one. Another all parts CTS pot. Ooh, nice. John Petrucci picks. I love John Petrucci picks. Oh, this is so good. Okay, so the EMG box seems to have broken because I've got the paperwork and it's not in a box. So let me see. Let me put my hand in and check it out. String savers from Graftec. Well, these are for my uh, upcoming review of my uh, Jaguar, my made in Mexico Fender Jaguar. Those saddles are completely shot up and don't work. So I needed a replacement set. So this is that. 
Okay, EMG pot loose. Why? I don't know. EMG conversion kit. Nothing inside. <laughs> okay, pull it knob puller. Hmm, interesting. Uh, this is from Big Rock as well. You basically pull out the knob. You don't need to, you know, damage the finish on the guitar with this. This is a very, very good uh, uh, guitar tech and luthier tool. Make sure you get one in case you don't have it. Very, very helpful. Okay, got another one of these uh, conversion kits. Yeah, I don't know what to say. So this is the missing, I think, missing pieces of this. This is the conversion kit wiring. You can't send stuff like this, Toman. It's just not cool. I mean, we pay a lot of money to get these goods to India. I mean, the least you can do is at least parcel them properly, you know. I'm definitely going to ask for a refund for this because, I mean, the way, and it's bent. You can see that. It's completely bent out of shape. These are not usable. I mean, not, not, a, not a nice thing, Toman. I uh, really, uh, that's probably really going to be the last time I order electronic stuff from you guys. I mean, EMG electronic stuff, definitely. Unless you pack it in bubble wrap, this is, this is just not cool. Okay, so that seems to be it. Let me put this aside and show you the guitar. All right, so here's the guitar. Is it in one piece? Let's find out. Uh, yep, that's broken. All right, let's open this up. So out of all the stuff I ordered, um, the EMG, uh, I mean, kit was, uh, it's, it's pretty expensive also, it's not cheap. Um, basically is uh, damaged. I'm going to have to ask them for a replacement for that. Uh, the other thing is that, um, you know, we pay 42% uh, you know, import duty. Um, it's, it's really pathetic that uh, they sh send it to us in such poor packaging. We open it out, we have to uh, then ask for a replacement, and the replacement, when it comes to India, you're going to again get charged 42% for that as well. Um, I've had this experience in the past with uh, you know the Indian customs. Um, it's not just 42% on the product value, it's on the product value plus the shipping cost. So, yeah, Toman, you've let me down. Dun, 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 dun. Yes, it's a sticker. Rescue my guitars from the Dot Man. Okay. Really, what's inside is this beautiful, the beautiful, the beautiful Telecaster sandblasted funky wood body. I don't know what it's called. Is it Sangai or Sakakai or Chakakan or something? I have no clue what it's called. The wood. But um, it's beautiful, man. Look at that. Wow. And this is not a veneer. This is actual sandblasted, uh, painted in. It looks gorgeous. I can't tell you how beautiful this thing looks. I mean, wow. Okay, so I see a small issue with it. Um, the body is perfect. There's no dents, no dings, no pings, no pongs. It's okay. The problem is, let me just check the the nut and the neck and the tuners are good. All right. Let's throw that aside. Put that down. Okay. So, thread ends are fine. Nuts good. Uh, finish is fine. There's no issue on the headstock. And the matching uh, headstock uh, with the body, beautiful touch. Everything is good. Well, except for this. What's that, Toman? You see the neck? There's like a solid black mark on it. Is that a finish flaw? I don't know. It's, it's not coming off with my hand, so that's definitely some kind of paint on it. Um, Shoddy finishing. Uh, body's nicely cut. Is it in tune? Let me check. Of course it's not in tune. 
But uh, I'm surprised, given uh, the way uh, the box has been opened, given the way, uh, you know, uh, it's arrived to me that this guitar is in one shape. Um, yeah, I'm, I am happy about the guitar. I'm pretty unhappy about the way they've sent the uh, EMG, uh, you know, wiring kit to me. They should have definitely done a better job. I am going to complain to customer care about that. Um, hopefully, they give me either a... Re well, a refund's not going to make much of a difference because I've already paid 42% duty on it. So maybe they can give me a credit note or something like that. I have no idea. Um, just a bit disappointed with them on that front. Um, yeah, uh, other than that, body looks good. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a good, it's a good guitar to buy. I, I see a lot of black marks on the, uh, you know, on the, on the neck. I'm not sure if that's, uh, you know, intentional from them or is that actually some guy, you know, who had black paint on his fingers, uh, you know, touching the guitar and, uh. Yeah, that that's something that I'm a little surprised about. But other than that, you know, everything else got here in one piece. The mandolin got here in one piece. I mean, that was surprising. That was really, really surprising. So, yeah, um, let's check out the guitars now. Let me just plug them in and see if the electronics are working or not. Let's get to it. So I've uh, tuned up the guitar, and after I've tuned it up, I got a bit of a shock. Uh, the guitar uh, plays like something else, not like a guitar in on a particular string. Yeah, really disappointed with Toman. Uh, you should really know how to set up your guitars before sending them out. I'm pretty surprised that you would allow such a guitar to come, uh, you know, all the way to India. That too, uh, keeping in mind the delays due to COVID. I mean, I got this parcel, I think, a month and 10 days later. Bitter, bitter taste in the mouth, Toman. Uh, please set up your guitars properly before you ship them out. Well, you'll understand. Have a listen. a sitar did i order a baby sitar from dan electro no i ordered a tele uh telecaster shape uh, guitar with roswell uh, toaster style pickups um yeah harley benton man what's up with that you've given me a sitar on the e string you know i mean it's buzzing like mad setup points uh, i mean i'm gonna have to do the review on this i'm gonna have to figure out what's wrong Set it up properly, guys, before sending it out. Really disappointed. Okay, I'm going to check the electronics now on the mandolin. So I've got the Harley Benton plugged into my AGA amp from Procraft India. It's a fantastic amp for acoustic instruments. Uh, uh, the mandolin's a bit noisy, uh, but still, um, you know, it plays good. Uh, I'm going to have to set up the action a bit. I've just tuned it up to something I think sounds okay and playable. I'm going to research a bit more on how to play the mandolin. Um, but yeah, let's check out the sounds on this.
Okay, so uh, play is good. Play is nice. Uh, it's a little noisy. I'm going to have to check where the noise is coming from. I think um, maybe some of the electronics inside, uh, it's a semi hollow body. So I'm not looking forward to changing any electrical components. Uh, it's a single coil, so I do expect to uh, get, uh, you know, a cycle hum coming from it. But um, yeah, um, bittersweet experience. Um, happy with a mandolin. Uh, guitar, I'm a bit uh, scared about uh, because of, you know, the marks and because of uh, the setup. Uh, EMG definitely going to get, uh, you know, uh, a replacement request emailed to them. Um, all in all, um, would I buy again from Toman? I'm not going to say never buy from them again because I know myself and if I get gas, then I ain't going to have Kai and Chur and I'm going to buy a guitar because it's guitar acquisition syndrome. But all in all, uh, be careful, okay? Um, when you're buying from Toman or you're buying internationally, if you're not buying an instrument which has, uh, you know, maybe a hard case or it's packaged well, just buy from India, man. It's not worth the heartache. It's not worth that 42% trying to save a few bucks here and there. Of course, if there are some components which are not available in India, in India at all, then it's a different thing. But uh, for me, uh, after this experience, I'm not sure. I'm going to be very selective on what I buy from them. Um, uh, First time I'm disappointed with uh, the purchase from these guys. Um, but yeah, hopefully we can do some more unboxings from different vendors, uh, um, you know, in India, uh, across the world, but they should be packaged properly. Toman, if you're watching this, please pack your instruments better when they ship to India. Hope you enjoyed that episode. Make sure you click the subscribe button and ring that bell to stay up to date with all our latest videos. If you want to support me in making such videos, know that YouTube doesn't pay me much money. But we need some money for editing, shooting and for getting new gear and goodies. Now in order to get some goodies, we're going to need some patrons. And where can you become a patron? You can become a patron on my Patreon link which is in the card above. Go there and support this channel. If you want to support me even further, make sure you follow me on social media. Your likes, your clicks and your comments all help. Make sure you follow me, SSJ Productions and Guitar Gear Gyan on social media. Links are in the description below. And above all else, stay safe and wash your hands.